Hello everyone, welcome to the next video on building mobile game solvers and in this video we are going to learn about electronics. Prerequisites You can solve games using approach 1 without learning electronics. So it's okay if you want to go ahead and solve some games right now. Just jump to, jump to the next videos and uh, start looking at examples from approach 1. If you have no prior experience with electronics, watch my first 6 videos in the tutorial series basic electronic circuits. So this is the link, go there and watch the first 6 videos. If you have no prior experience with Arduino, watch the first 2 videos in Jeremy Blum's tutorial series and this is the link. Overview There are 2 main things that we will learn in this video. How to sense objects on the screen and how to simulate touch. So we sense the screen using a light dependent resistor LDR. The LDR's resistance changes depending on the light falling on its surface. So this is the surface of the LDR and if light falls, the electrons and holes are separated and the resistivity decreases. If there is no light, they are not separated and hence the resistance will be very high. This is the voltage divider circuit for LDR and this LDR can be placed at either Z1 or Z2. So when it's placed, the change in resistance is converted to the change in voltage that can be given to the Arduino. So this is how you have to connect your LDR to the Arduino. So have a look at this circuit and you can see that you connect this to A0. So if you want to see the value that is re being returned from this voltage divider circuit, you have to use analog read of AV0 and then just display it on the screen. So while placing the sensor on top of your phone screen, I suggest that you use a cardboard or some kind of dark material so that the ambient light doesn't affect the values on your LDR much. So uh, this is how you can find a threshold value for your LDR circuit. So you want to differentiate between the object being there and not being there. So you can do this. Place the sensor on top of your screen and note the values in the presence and absence of the object that has to be detected. And uh, if say when the object is there and the value is about 600 and when it's not there it's about 400, you can have a threshold value of 500 which is in between. And depending on that, you can take action here. So read the sensor value. If it's greater than threshold, do one thing. If it's not, do another thing. Next, let us learn about touch simulation. So there are two main ways to simulate touch. One is mechanically and the other is electronically. So in mechanical touch, we have a stylus attached to a servo motor. So the stylus is placed in such a way that it has to touch the screen if the servo is rotated. So this is a basic and straightforward mechanism, but the problem is the, here is that because it has mechanical movements, it is kind of slow. An alternative to the mechanical touch is the electronic touch. It works on the concept of the capacitive screen. So capacitive touch screens have a small amount of charge on the screen and when you touch it, you have a voltage drop. The voltage drop is detected when you touch the screen and depending on it, your location is tracked. Watch the Curious Engineers video on how touch screens work to understand more about this setup. So touch can be virtually simulated by having a path for the charge to flow. So that's, what hap that's what's happening here, right? When you have a finger, you have a path for the charge to flow and the touch is detected. So let us try to simulate this by using something else. So instead of a finger, we can use a relay to do that. Let's see how the relay works now. So this pin and this pin are the inputs for the relay. So we always connect this to ground and at this pin we either give 0 volts or 5 volts, 5 volts from the Arduino output. So if you give 5 volts there, what happens is that there is a virtual connection between this pin and this pin when it's 0 volts. So when you give 5 volts, a magnetic field is generated here and this wire is stripped onto the top. So these both are connected. So basically what a relay is doing is switching between these two terminals. So when you connect this to ground and you connect a coin here, it switches between these both terminals depending on the input voltage, whether it is high or low. We are using a coin at this end 
and this coin is supposed to be placed on the top of the screen for simulating touch. We are using a coin so that we have more surface area so instead of a coin you can, al you can also try uh, maybe some other kind of conductor or aluminum foil or anything similar. So let's see what happens when the input voltage is low. So the coin is, uh, is on top of the phone screen and you can see that it's, it's just locked. There is no way for the charge to flow. So this would be no touch. I mean, uh, the screen is not touched. But then when you give a high voltage, this strips here and you can see that it is connected to the ground. So there is a chance or there is a path for the charge to flow through the circuit and hence it will be detected as a touch. This is how you can electronically simulate touch. So this is the circuit for your touch and it varies depending on the kind of relay that you are using and this is a 6 pin relay that we are using here. Sometimes it takes a decent amount of effort to get the touch to work so be persistent. And that is the end of this video so uh, I, I hope you learned something I hope you learned how electronically touch is simulated and now that you know all this you will be able to uh, virtually automate games like Piano Tiles or Timberman or Simon Says and many other games in those lines.